Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another Fallout 4 video, this time with a viewer request. A viewer has asked me to pick one perk per special line here in Fallout 4 on the perk sheet. So let's give that a whirl, shall we? Under Strength, if I were to pick one perk, it would be the Strong Back perk. And the reason is that it not only adds to your carry weight, it allows you to move faster when over encumbered at the cost of action points, and it also allows you to fast travel while you're over encumbered. And that can be really handy, whether you're overloading yourself with junk to build up your settlement or mod your weapons, or you've just found that legendary fat man that, you know, opens up the skies and rains sunshine and goodness down upon you and turns your enemies into frogs, whatever the case may be, you can carry it home. And that's pretty cool. If I were to look under the perception line, it would be riflemen. And the reason is that we're going to need one weapon class for this. And if I had to pick only one weapon class in Fallout 4, it would be rifles because we've got shotguns in the close range. We've got assault rifles, combat rifles, laser rifles, plasma rifles in the mid range, and we've got sniper rifles for the long range. So we've covered a whole lot of ground with one weapon class and if we look at the perk at cap we see that not only does it do double damage it ignores 30 percent of the target's armor and we get a slightly higher chance of crippling a limb under endurance i would take aqua boy and mainly just the first rank which is water is your ally you no longer take radiation damage from swimming and can breathe underwater and the reason is that this will expand your boundaries in Fallout 4 considerably. It will allow you to explore underwater where you will often find, not always, but often find some power armor and other goodies that have been hidden down there. And even while you're just wandering the Commonwealth, occasionally you'll end up wading through a deep enough puddle of water to irradiate you and this perk basically just erases that. So it cuts down on your radiation intake and it allows you to expand your boundaries of exploration as you are able to take on any water that you want. Under Charisma, if I had to choose only one, and this is one of the harder ones to choose only one, it would be Lone Wanderer. And the reason is that Lone Wanderer basically is for traveling without a companion. And when you are traveling without a companion and you have Lone Wanderer, you do more damage, you take less damage, and you can carry more weight. And that is really pretty amazing and actually pretty powerful. Under Intelligence, if I had to pick only one, it would be Gun Nut. Because now that we have our rifles, we're going to need to modify them. And if we needed a single modification perk for weapons, for ranged weapons, it would have to be Gun Nut. Mainly because of the suppressors or silencers. But also we're going to get quick eject magazines and stocks to help us be more accurate and even scopes not some of the higher tech low light or recon scopes but still scopes that we can work with and the whole suppressor silencer thing is going to become really important because my agility pick would be sneak and sneak is frankly just an amazing perk if we look at the first rank become whisper become shadow you are 20 percent harder to detect while sneaking that's cool Second rank, you are now 30% harder to detect while sneaking and no longer trigger floor-based traps. That is really pretty cool. Rank 3, you are now 40% harder to detect while sneaking and no longer trigger enemy mines. And that's really pretty handy. And under rank 4, you are now 50% harder to detect while sneaking and running no longer adversely affects stealth, which means you can run and stealth, and that is also awesome. If you go for the last rank, which I don't actually have, engaging stealth will cause distant enemies to lose you, and that can be handy too. Now, luck is the most VATS heavy stat line, and as I don't use VATS, there's really not so many useful perks other than just the overall having it capped. But if I had to choose one, it would probably be Fortune Finder, because, well, it will allow you to find more caps, and if you get to the max rank, which I have not yet done, you find even more bottle caps and containers, and there is a chance of enemies exploding in a shower of caps when you kill them, and that kind of sounds amazing. So if I had to pick one perk per special line here on the perk sheet of Fallout 4, those are the perks I would pick. 
I would like to thank our viewer for the question and the challenge of doing this. I hope that I've answered sufficiently. I would also like to remind you that I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page. If you are on mobile, it'll be on my channel about page. Also, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and links to other videos that I've made. I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video informative and maybe just a little entertaining. I would like to invite you to subscribe and ask you to please take care.